Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back. For today's video, I wanted to share with you all a shop my stash. So I'm really, really excited about this because you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, you don't because I didn't even explain anything. <laughs> Let me explain myself. Okay, let's rewind. Let's rewind. Let's rewind a little bit. Okay, I feel very like biker-esque right now. Give me a moment of like, I feel like I'm feeling myself, but like at the same time, this is small. I used to be really big on me. So about four years ago, every single Sunday for two years straight, I want to say, I used to upload my Shop My Stash videos. If you guys don't know what Shop My Stash is, it's basically where I go through my makeup, makeup collection, and I pull out one or two items um, per drawer. So like one or two foundations, one or two eyeshadow palettes, some blushes, and I'll use those specific goodies for that specific week or for the, those specific two weeks. Um, so basically, it's kind of like rotating through your makeup and being aware of what you have and actually using what you have, you know, seeing what you like, seeing what you don't like. So I really enjoyed doing it for two years. It was like a thing that I did every single Sunday. But after two years, I did stop. I thought I would get back to it maybe after a month or two, but it didn't end up happening. I don't know. Other things came my way. But yeah, the reason why I stopped was I felt like it was a little bit repetitive on my part and I felt like maybe you guys weren't really enjoying it. I mean, this was a little bit ago, so I don't even know if I have the same audience or not. But yeah, that there's that. And then also... After doing it for such a long time, I almost felt very restricted because there were times that I pulled out goodies to use for the week and then I wasn't feeling those products like on a Wednesday and I'm like, I just don't want to use this, you know? And that happened time and time again. And so after it happened for a while, I was like, you know, I'm kind of, I'm just going to stop this. So yeah, I stopped it. Birds. I feel you, man. <laughs> <laughs> so fast forward to today, I realized that I think it's definitely something that I would love to incorporate into my videos, onto my channel. And a lot of you guys had mentioned you love watching these videos because it also gives you the opportunity to go through maybe your makeup collection, to feel inspired, to pull out pieces you maybe haven't used in a very long time. So I want to do it for that, of course. I want to be as helpful as possible here. But I think for me also, when I used to do those videos, I really had a solid what's the word i really had a solid give me a moment here understanding of what a product had to offer i guess i could word it that way meaning like a lot of the times you know you guys know i purchase a decent amount of makeup i love buying makeup i love trying out new goods but there are those times where like something is just shoved towards the back of the drawer or i have the intention to use a product but it just doesn't happen for four months down the road and it's like did i even use this you know what i'm saying so i definitely want to make these videos pretty regularly so that i can use my products go through my goods see what i love see what i don't keep you guys posted let you know if something sucks let you know if something's good you know what I'm saying? Let you know if something should be viral to an extent. And really like go through my products. Also, I actually love watching other people's makeup collections. I love like seeing how they organize, how they store things, what they pull out, what inspires them, what doesn't. And yeah, so I feel like I would love to incorporate this on my channel. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do it every single week. I think that's a little bit much for me um, just to commit to that. But I think that maybe I could do it on a bi-weekly basis. And... I mean, you guys will also let me know, like, okay, we also like when you do this or we don't like when you do that. Can you give us a rundown of what worked out the previous week and what didn't? You know what I mean? Like, we'll, we'll walk through this together and see, like, what works out for both of us, for all of us. And, yeah, I just think that this could be something really nice to incorporate and I'm really excited. So, I think that's pretty much it. You get it just a bit, right? <laughs> okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with uh, the goods that I'm going to choose out, I would say, for the next week or two-ish. I want to say so first day, i wanted to start off with how the room is looking just because actually i have a room transformation video i'll have a link below if you guys miss out on that but this room was the opposite of how it looks right now let me tell you um what else we have some like laundry bins here i still have to wash and sweep but i would say it's somewhat pretty organized not bad Okay, so in my first drawer here is where I keep all of my foundations. I actually did not do a foundation declutter video. That's why there's so much. We gotta get to it ASAP. First, I wanted to show you guys the Light Wonder Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. This is amazing. I'm pretty much 70% through with this one. You can see here I have this much left. So good. I definitely feel like I use this a lot and it is my go-to, but I want to give a few other foundations some love. I'm thinking maybe this one. I've used this a few times and it's really, really good stuff. It's the new YSL Bare Look Tint Foundation. It has like a mousse-like texture and 
pretty full-ish coverage, so we're gonna pull that out. Um, this literally has got to go, it's been a minute, so I'm gonna finish that up for this week as well. And then I recently started using this. I hold it in my recent Ulta haul, and I like it. I'm not gonna say I'm in love, but I did take my new DMV picture with this, so hopefully it came out good. I'm gonna pull this out though, just because uh, I wanna give it a little bit more love. I think that's pretty much it. Well, this drawer needs to be cleaned in tap. So we're gonna close that. And moving on to the next drawer here is where I have my concealer. I just put makeup remover wipes here as well, like a fan. I don't really have much there. So I kinda keep that there. Um, for concealers, this is my favorite. Well, this is the Bendy Avocado Concealer from First Aid Beauty. So I'm gonna pull this out. I remind the shade four. I think I'm also gonna pull out this one right here by Milk Makeup. It was recently sent to me. And I haven't, I didn't have a chance to try it yet. It's in the shade three though, so it's gonna be a little bit too dark, but we'll pull this out anyway. I'm just thinking I might wanna pull out something lighter so I can kind of mix it in. This right here is from Hourglass and it's definitely a little bit more lighter. So I'm gonna mix all them together, possibly. I kind of would like to test this out. It's from Kopari and this is the under eye like balm. I don't know, just a very interesting product. Basically, it's supposed to give you a nice amount of hydration. It's supposed to also allow your concealer to sit better if you have dry skin. So I think I'll pull this out as well. Moving on to the next. Here's where I have primers. And for this drawer as well, I didn't have a chance to turn the clutter, so I have a lot. This is new to me. I still haven't had a chance to use it. Thank goodness for making this video. It's the All The Feels Facial Oil by e.l.f. I love their oils and this looks pretty good. I usually like to wear an oil with a foundation or a BB cream just to add a little bit more hydration. So I'm gonna use that. And then I've actually also really been enjoying the Peach and Lily Skin Shield Blurring Primer. I feel like it does blur, but it also kind of just creates this really nice base for foundation, like almost like a shield, yeah. <laughs> like it feels good, it's great. And it sinks in really, really quickly. So I'm gonna pull this out uh, to continue using it for this week. All right, I think that's it for the primer drawer. Then in this drawer here is where I have my blushes. So basically my powder blushes, I really, really love this one by Ofra Cosmetics. I've actually been using it a lot. And this right here is my favorite shade. I had a bar mitzvah on Sunday and I used this. Lasted the whole night. They're all really gorgeous, this is my favorite. Great formula, so I think I'm gonna continue using it for this week, it's such a great palette. I think that's pretty much it for blush, just because that palette has so much. I did use the new Hourglass, what is this called, Universal Edit palette, and it's gorgeous. Also really love this one, but I think that, again, because that blush palette has so much, I don't know if it's necessary to pull out more. I'll give these palettes maybe more love next week or something, or the week after that. But yeah, okay, I think I'm happy with my blush decision. Then in this drawer here is where I keep my cream blushes. I like that I keep the powders and creams in separate drawers. It makes things so much easier for me. You guys know I love the, here. You guys know I love the Tower 28 blush. It looks disgusting, but I'm almost done with that. This right here by e.l.f. is amazing. This blush here is everything to me. It's so good. I'm thinking if I really need, I really like to wear cream blushes usually. Um, on more natural days. I don't really like to wear them as much when I'm going for the full shebang, unless I'm really making my makeup solidly bulletproof. But usually, like let's say even like with this palette by Ofra, like it just it's gonna last. I don't think I need to put uh, cream and then powder because this is such a great formula. And a lot of um, powder blushes like they last on me. But there might be a day where I will need one of these. So I think I'm gonna pull out this one by Beauty Blender. So this is in the shade Playful Peach. Sorry about all the hairiness in there. It's from the brushes, but this is so good, by the way. This was like a purchase on a whim, and I was like, eh, whatever. And I was so beyond surprised with this one. I thought I was for sure gonna be like, okay, please. But no, this is like one of the better ones out there. So I'm gonna pull this out. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the cream blush drawer unit. Okay, moving on to the next drawer here is where I keep all of my bronzers. I did recently do a bronzer declutter video that to this drawer is not like jam packed. Really, really, really love this one by Nabla. It's such a solid one. I've been using it a lot and it's in the shade Soft Revenge. Good stuff. This right here is so cute. It's the new Physicians Formula like donut bronzer. Haven't had a chance to use it, so I'm gonna pull this out. This one is also a new one to me. These are available on Ulta site, but I'm gonna just use the other one just cause, you know, and I'll say this maybe for a different time. Also thing I'm gonna do is use a cream bronzer for this week, I'm thinking. Mm. 
here. This right here is called Breezy. I think I used this once. I don't remember what I thought about it. So I'm going to pull this out because I might need it for a look. And then I think I'm going to pull out the Hourglass Bronzer as well. So this right here is in Luminous Bronze Light. And I've been using this so much. You probably can't even see that it has a major dip. But I could see myself hitting pan on this any moment now. Love this. Definitely like one of my top five favorite bronzers ever. And then so I think that's pretty much it for this drawer. I feel like I usually pick out one bronzer that's newish or I'm not sure about. And then one bronzer that I'm, you know, very familiar with just in case things go bad. I need to have my holy grails with me all time at all times. Next we have highlighters. So I feel like I was more into highlighters a little bit ago. I don't know, lately I just feel like it just emphasizes so much texture. And I feel like when I don't wear it, it just my face just looks better. But I am going to pull out one. I really, really, really love this one by MAC. This I happen to get from TJ Maxx. It's such a good find. It's in double gleam. I actually do use this one a lot. I think it's a great formula. Here you can see what it looks like. Really, really pretty. And a lot of you guys actually told me to go pick this up from TJ Maxx because I skipped out on it at some point. And then you guys are like, go back. So I got it. I feel like the lighting is gonna change here like a million times, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for highlighter. That should be enough. And I think it should go with pretty much any look. Next, I have my eyeshadow palette. So I actually did not do my eyeshadow palette declutter video yet either, which is, it's on the agenda. I just had so many brand new holiday palettes that I didn't give as much love to. So I kind of feel like in my declutter, I'd be like, oh, I don't know what to, what to say about this. I don't know what to say about this, you know? So thank goodness for this kind of video so I can really get a good feel of what these palettes have to offer, you know? Let's see, I think I'm gonna pull this out. I wanna try to do a look with this one. I think it's so gorgeous. The Grace palette by Juvia's Place. I recently hold this in one of my Ulta hauls. I think it's beautiful. I mean, look at, look at her. That's like my line now, look at her. So we're gonna pull that out. Um, I really wanna give this one a go. I just think it's like, a, it's a natural palette of course, but it's so pretty and I don't feel like I've given it any love. And, and just like, it's just like staring at me. It's like, can you please use me? Can you please use me? Yes, we definitely will. I think this one has a lot of variety and I think I could do a bunch with this. I'm gonna pull this out. I'm so excited, by the way, so excited. Um, I also love this by ABH, which I would love to pull out too, but then I kind of feel like, and maybe, maybe those are similar, maybe not. I don't know, you guys love when I wear this. I always get like just literally non-stop compliments from you guys. So I really appreciate you guys are so cute. So it's a good one. Um, I don't know if I need anything from here. I do like this Pat McGrath one. I'd like to use it when I'm going for more dramatic looks. I have a picture on Instagram of this palette here from Charlotte Tilbury's Holiday Collection. And you guys were obsessed with the look there. So I really appreciate it. I did use this for that look. Sarah Patrick kids we could use maybe. Ooh, I really want to use this. Like I really want to use this. So cute. And the tones. I think I need to pull this out. Oh, also, these palettes by NARS are actually pretty good. I hold it in my recent Sephora haul, actually. So I love that. Love those. I will pull these. You know what? I think this is good because it's like three totally different families. We've got greens, we got neutrals, and this. So like if I'm going for that vibe, I have this, this, and then neutrals. Like you just can't get enough, you know? I don't think I have anything in here. Oh, yes. Sorry, it was the other drawer. So I have more palettes in here. These are like, I would say not newer palettes, but palettes that have been in my collection for a minute. I don't think I'm gonna pull out anything from here though. Here I have just randomness, randomness bulbs and stuff. Here's where I have lashes. I think I'll pull these out. These are by Kiss, the matte silk, matte black lashes. I like these, they're very, very fluffy. They could feel a bit heavy though on the eye, but if you're looking for that like look and you need it to be extra dramatic, these are good. So I'll pull this out. In this drawer here, I have some lip products. Just thinking to myself, what do I want? I definitely know I wanna use these three. So I put these here specifically to use for this week. So this glaze lip gloss is from Sephora. It is such a good one. I've been using it so much lately. You could see I'm, I you know, have some work there. Whatever, some like progress. Tower 28 lip crayon is great. I got it in a Sephora favorites kit and this I also got in a Sephora favorites kit. I've really been enjoying all, so I want to continue to use them for this week. I'm just thinking to myself what else, because I would kind of also like a lipstick. Um, I think I'm just gonna go to my shelves for that. Here's where I have my lip balms. I'm actually trying to use this peach one. It's been a while since I pulled this out, but I'm almost done with it and kind of want to say goodbye to it because it's been a while. 
So I'm going to pull this out for, I don't know, during the day, maybe for the nighttime. I still have some by my bed, so I'll use those as well. But I think that's pretty much it for this drawer. This will also have like a little bit of pan in there. Okay. Then I have powders here. This has been a favorite of mine for the last little bit. Laura Mercier. And it's in the shade 1. It's a candle glow sheer perfecting powder. I would say I've been using this consistently for the past month. It has like a nice sheer finish to it. Similar to like the Hourglass like face powders. If I don't want like more coverage with my face powder. But I want something that's a bit extra. This is great. And it gives you that like... Yeah, candlelit glow vibe, you know, but not illuminated and not overdone. So I think it's a beautiful setting powder, so I'm going to pull this out. I also always use a loose powder, so I'm going to use this one right here by Huda. This, you could see, I did, I made a decent dent in there. This is in pound cake. It smells really good. I like to bake with this, set my under eye with this. Focus, out of focus. So we'll put that there. I want to say that's pretty much it for here. Of course, my glue... The Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive is the best. And then I always use tweezers as well. We'll just use these by Ulta. Actually, these tweezers are also really good to pull out hair with. So, I like that. I think that's it for here. And then here is where I keep my brow products, mascaras. And then what I ended up doing is putting my liners here just because it's easy access. Otherwise, I have to go to my shelves every time and it's like a whole walk. <laughs> like, please, first world problems here. So for brows, I've been doing my brows with the Milani Weekend Brow Pen. These are both in the same shade Espresso. One is almost done and one is a new one that I hold in my Ulta haul recently. You know, I love this for natural brow looks or heavier brow looks. It's just been a staple in my collection since I discovered it. So I'm going to pull these. Um, I think I'm also going to use the CoverGirl brow pencil as well in case I want to go for more of a defined look, which I haven't really been doing much lately. I've just been really enjoying that feathery brow effect, but I'll just pull this out in case. I actually have these lashes here if I need smaller ones, so we'll keep it there. Um, I also like to use a tinted brow gel. I like this one by Kosas. I've been using it a lot, so I'll just use that one. And then for clear brow gel, I'll just use well, this MAC one is legit bulletproof. Like This is good for the brows. It really holds them in place. But I find that when I wash the product out of my brows, it like pulls out brow hairs. And I barely have any. So I don't know about that one. We'll just use this regular ABH one, which is just a classic. It's clear. So we're good to go on that. And then for mascara... This is just like my favorite. It literally is just the best. Every time I use anything else, I'm like, nope, nope, nope. I just need this one. So it's just like a go-to classic, the Essence Lash, Prin <laughs> Essence Lash Princess. We're going to pull that out. Actually, this right here is actually a new one they recently released. I'm going to pull this out just to test out and see if it's as good or if I like it. This Kaja one is decent. I tested it out a few times. Still don't know what I think about it. So we'll leave it in there for now. But I'm going to use for liner this L'Oreal one. This is so good. It's been my favorite since my brother got it for me in Florida. Carbon black, black liner, retractable, literally the best. Okay, I want to say that's pretty much it for that drawer. We're going to close these. Next up, we're going to head into the shelving area. By the way, would you guys be interested in these shelves? My brother is making these shelves to sell. So I have five shelves. He's going to make it into a three shelving unit. So let me know. I asked on Instagram, most of you guys said you were interested, but I would love to know if you don't follow me on Instagram, like what your thought process is. Um, I'm going to use, so for mist, I'm going to use this one by Tower 28. I used a little bit of it the other day and it was pretty good. I love how it smells. I just kind of feel like it's like a good go-to mist. I feel like if you have oily skin, you'd like it, dry skin. A lot of times if I go for glowy, like foundations or oils, if I do that whole shebang, I don't really want a glowy mist because then it's too much. So... This, I feel like, is just, like, right in the middle there, which is great. I have a lot of, like, glowy products that I pulled out, so I think this would be great for the week. Also, I wanted to show you guys this little section here, which I think is so cute. Oh, my Natasha and our little ones. So, at some point, it was, like, there was a lot of space in here, and now it's, like, full to, filled to the brim. I really like this palette by Natasha Denona, the Mini Metropolis. Mm, are we pulling this out? I use this, actually, for my DMV pick, by the way. I use the brown and then this gold on top here. It was very cute. I hope I came out good. All right, so there's that. Okay, then in this section here, I have some products I want to use. These are like newer, so I just left them here, but they really shouldn't be here. I should really organize everything. So I'm gonna pull out this Baby Shell Tilbury Lipstick in Pillow Talk. It's like my favorite shade ever. For lip liner, I'm gonna pull out Pillow Talk too. I got this in her advent calendar. 
I'm also going to pull out these uh, lip products by Pat McGrath. They're both in Divine Rose. It came in a kit for $25, so I'm excited about those. And then this came in one of these Sephora Favorites kits that I reviewed on my channel. I've been wearing this a lot lately, and every time I wear this, you guys are always complimenting me. It's such a winner. So it's in the shade Honey Beige. It's retractable. I put it on in that video if you want to see it on the lips. But this is like perfection, seriously. Great shade, great formula, and... I'm on the other side of my shelves now. I recently put these um, body care products here, by the way, and then my perfumes here because I just wasn't doing it on my counter. Then I have more lip products there. I think I'm good with lip products, right? Oh, okay, and then I finally wanted to just use these goodies as well. So I'm hopefully gonna be doing a full face of holiday makeup soon. I'll incorporate these and maybe pull out other things as well if I don't have like enough when it comes to what I pulled out already. So Milk Makeup has these kits out now. This right here is $25 on Sephora's site. You get two full-size goodies, the liner and then the Kush Mascara. And they also have this one, which includes the mist and the primer. So this is, I think, $33, yeah. So I put these here to remind myself to actually use them because these products are amazing and the bag is so cute. Okay, I want to say that is pretty much it. I'm really happy with everything that I chose out. I'm going to organize all of these in one of my acrylic drawers. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what goodies I'm going to be using for the next little bit. Um, I'm really excited for them. Solid stuff, of course. You know me. Um, what else did I want to say? Mm, and I definitely want to kind of like organize my shelves as well. So hopefully I'll have like a makeup organizational video up soon. That should be up on, that should be on the agenda. Anyways, okay. I need, I need coffee, like now. All right, I love you guys so much and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.